part three, do clubs matter? Let's do it now on JP Goff. What is up everybody? We are back part three. Today we got the ping G25 irons. Uh, these were custom fit for me. I think they were at least around 2013, 2014. Nine holes, Sherman Hills again, four tees, we're playing irons only, except for the par threes. We'll play the regular whites and hoping to avoid all that rain. It looked like it was going away from us. But let's see, get down in the comments below. Let me know what you think is gonna happen here with the, the ping G25s. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. All right, let's get it going. All right guys, here we are. Teeing off, perfect tee shot right down the middle. Couldn't have asked for a better start. Here we are with our second shot and actually hit it too good. Uh, I actually flew the green, so was debating between clubs and just picked the wrong club. Should have hit one less club, unfortunately. All right, so we were chipping back. As I said, we went uh, over the green a little bit. So we got a little chip shot here. And fortunately, not really my best effort. Not as close as I would like to be. All right, so we got a long putt here for par. And not a good putt at all. Definitely misread that. So here's our bogey putt. And don't make that. And we are starting with a double bogey. Not a good start. All right, hole two. Hit a good shot here, just the wrong club. It came up short, right? And unfortunately, we are in the bunker. All right, first time in this series, I think, that we've been in the bunker. Definitely not the greatest bunker player. But I get it out, and it's not too bad of a shot. It's a shot I would take probably every time. All right, so here's our par putt. Again, we started with a double bogey. And we actually make it to say par, so good putt there. All right, so two over through three, third hole, par five, and pretty good tee shot, no complaints there. All right, second shot, pull it just a little bit left, but uh, just edge of the fairway, so still in pretty good shape, sitting two, par five. All right, third shot here, just a little pitch, and we just leave it short. All right, it's a birdie putt. Uh, long look at birdie, but at least it's a birdie putt. And another complete misread. Not even close. Horrible putt. So here's our putt for par. And unfortunately, that one lips out. So that's a bogey, and we are now three over through three holes. All right, so teeing off on four, and pretty good tee shot. Another one right down the middle. And our second shot, another pretty good shot. So uh, right club, and we are on the green, putting for birdie. Okay, so we got a good look at birdie. Right now we're three over through three. And another poor putt, just didn't hit it at all. So we got this to clean up for par. And it's just one of those days, slides by. Hits a bogey, and we're now four over through four holes. Not playing well. All right, we are through four, we are four over, and it is mostly due to my short game. On the first hole, hit my approach shot long. Uh, I just hit the wrong club there, should have went, went down. Um, other than that, that one just had a birdie attempt from not far, ended up three putting, so um, this is crazy, ridiculous. Um, get down in the comments, let me know what you think so far by the Ping G25s, do clubs matter? This is part three, got one more setup coming. Uh, so far for me, 
the irons aren't making much of a difference. It's is my short game good or not? So let's uh, see if we can finish this off. We're four over. I'd like to not be uh, I'd like to finish this at six over at the worst. All right, guys, let's try the rally cap. All right, on number five, and a little bit out to the left, but overall, still a pretty decent shot. All right, second shot. Uh, may not be easy to tell here, but a little bit of a, of a down slope, so was debating between clubs. And actually hit a good shot. Uh, shot searchers didn't pick it up, but I, I hit the wrong club, so I should have went one less club and actually, uh, once again, uh, kind of flew it to the back of the green, just slightly over. So chipping back from off the edge of the green, I used a wedge here instead of my chipper, and that was a bad decision, so uh, just completely duffed it. All right, so here's our par putt, and it slides by. And so we tap in for a bogey, and we are now five over through five holes. All right, tee shot number six. Again, another pretty good tee shot. Uh, can't really complain about shots off the tee or my iron so far. All right, second shot. You can see we've ditched the rally cap, ditched the cap completely. Uh, but a pretty good shot here uh, off of a side hill. All right, third shot here on the par five. A little pitch shot. And this one doesn't turn out all that bad. All right, so we have a birdie putt here. And once again, my putting was just off as it wasn't read well and tails off there towards the end. So we have that medium range to short, a little putt to save par. We finally make one and we are now five over through six holes. All right, here's a tee shot on seven and tug it just a little bit. So I am off the green to the left. All right, so we're hitting a little chip shot. And another one that just is not my best. So we got this putt for par. And just slides by, unfortunately. That's another bogey. And we're now six over through seven holes. All right, tee shot on eight. And another good tee shot. Pretty much right down the middle of the fairway. Just a short little shot left here for the second and hit a pretty good shot, a little bit to the left of the pin, but we are on the green and we are putting for birdie. All right, so here's our birdie putt. And just absolutely another misread and another horrible putt. So we've got this to clean up our par. And that comes up just short. And that's another bogey. We are seven over through eight. All right, tee shot on the ninth hole. Another good tee shot right down the middle of the fairway. Second shot, just a little pitch shot, and just hit it short. There's our third shot, a little pitch. And once again, just not a great shot, and we're still not that close. So here is our putt for par. And again, not the greatest putt, slides by. We have that left for bogey. And that misses and it's gonna be a double and it was just one of those days on the putting green. All right, so we started with a double bogey. We ended with a double bogey. 
not a good scoring day. Not really the, the iron's fault, I would say. A couple times they put me in some bad positions maybe that I haven't been in before. A couple long over the green, once in the sand. So, but once again, scoring really came down the lack of the short game. All right, guys, so it's a 45 nine over for the Ping G25s. Again, not really the irons. Uh, short game is what I've got to work on, obviously. Uh, starting with chipping, uh, being probably the worst, and then putting. Just did not have a good feel for the greens today. So that's where we're at. So through three, part one was the Bomb Tech with a 42. Part two was the Ben Hogan Icon Irons with a 39. And this is part three with the Ping G25s. Uh, with the 45. So the last one is going to be the Pinhawk single length irons. Let's see where we go. Get on those comments below. Let me know. What are you guys thinking so far? Uh, do you think the clubs matter? Is it just a difference in the short game? Uh, being a little off each throughout the days. So let me know what you're thinking and we'll get ready for part four. Stay tuned here on JP Golf. Mm -hmm.